Hi. Oh, try me, bitch. Look out, you're talking to your highness. Can't see me, I'm the reason for your blindness. They tried this, but I'm too classy for your lines. Got my double cups up, that's the reason that I'm... Cause I'm a lady, that's why. Hey guys, it's Blaze. And this video might be a little bit on the longer side. I'm hoping not, and I'll try to do it as fast as possible. I don't know if you guys like longer videos or shorter videos, whatever. Um, I, I personally, I like longer videos. Anyway, uh, this is a Shop Miss A plus haul because I got a few things that aren't from Shop Miss A, but I wanted to combine them both into one video. All the other stuff that I got almost all of it was on massive sale and clearances. So I am going to show you what is on clearance if you guys have a Walgreens near you so you guys know when to pick up and where to pick up some really good affordable stuff. Before I get into everything, please make sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel right now and become a blazer and a part of the Blaze Nation. We'd love to have you here as long as you're as wicked as we are. And I always have at least one free, 100% free monthly giveaway, almost always beauty related. This month though, I'm going to be giving away an Amazon gift card for the month of May. I will link that video up in the cards and down below as per usual. So make sure to go down and subscribe now and be an awesome, wicked, wicked one. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. They are always linked down below in the description box. Okay, so let's start with I guess non shop miss a I will insert what time to skip to here if you are just interested in the shop miss a and not interested in Walgreens and all that stuff I will put the time up here that you can skip to in this video if you're just interested in the shop miss a haul so yes went to Walgreens with mama blaze the other day and picked up a couple things let's get this out of the way I was gonna wear this but I was like nah I want to haul it first so it is this really cute pretty scarf that's got this really cool like charm thing right here as you can see sorry for the ring like glare so it is a really lightweight like almost like a necklace scarf it's from the brand West Loop and it's called a charm charm scarf it's originally $5.99 I got it on clearance for $1.79 so $1.79 for a really cute like dress up little scarf is very cool where am i hi i do not have my receipt in my room at the moment it's in my mother's room because she picked up a couple things but i will pop up the original price and the sale or clearance price that i did pay for these things oh yeah <laughs> so i found my new favorite candy brand it's called black forest organic and uh, yeah i already ate all the gummy worms and these are really really delicious and they're better for you so anyway I picked up one of the, I've been wanting to pick this up for months because I love squishies and I just always kind of pass it, but I love the purple macaroon squishy so much. These are $2.99 and you can clip them on your bag or on your keys. I got this one for when I go out, as you guys know, um, if you guys know, I have severe agoraphobia. I am afraid to leave the house. I'm afraid to be out in the world. <laughs> the world is scary. And I have a lot of anxiety problems. So this really does help when I'm out if I'm driving in the car for a while, or if I'm in a store or in a doctor's office and I just need some stress relief. Just a nice, I have a couple of regular size squishy, squishies, squishies, but this one is just perfect to throw in my bag. So I have that. Uh, picked up two packs of batteries because they were on a really good sale. Oh, what the hell is this doing in here? Oh God. My sister surprised me. She got one for herself because she says that these are like all over online, even though I've never personally seen them before. Uh, they're called Ding Dings and this is mature content, I guess, but it's, it's a little tiny penis with eyes and feet and a cute little butt and you squish it. It's rubbery, squishy. So, <laughs> I mean, it's definitely much bigger than someone I know. Oh! And I picked this up. I think this is the only one that wasn't on sale. Uh, this is like new because these are my favorite uh, liquid liners is the Wet n Wild Black Felt Tip Pro Line one. And I saw this and this is their new Pro Line Graphic Marker Eyeliner. So it is thicker and I did use it today and I do need to get used to it. I love how it applies 
uh, the wing, but it's shaped kind of like this, as you can see. So it's very pigmented, it dries very fast, um, and it's smudge proof. This was $3.99, which is the same price as their regular ones that I use constantly. Then all of these I did get on sale and clearance. The last time I did a my last beauty haul, I got the uh, Ramil London 710 First Class Nude, and I am obsessed with it. I'm in a nude mood for some reason. I go through like phases of which colors I want to wear on my face, whether it be eyeshadow or lipsticks, whatever, blushes. And I am 100% into the nudes. And that's so weird because I used to hate nudes on me personally. I just thought they looked really bad and I just didn't like it. Now I am into this nude kick. So I got another one of those uh, because these were on clearance for $3.49. So I got another 710 first class nude and this is the shade so so beautiful the only weird thing is it smells exactly like sunscreen and i'm kind of not here for that because it reminds me of my dad i love my dad i just hate the way his sunscreen smells but that is the lipstick right there these are very moisturizing very glossy very very pretty speaking of gloss uh i think yeah all the rest of my stuff is from ramel and all of the rest of these were under two dollars they were like a dollar 19 a dollar 27 so massive massive sales um so this is the ramel london stay glossy lip gloss this is the first lip gloss i've ever owned from ramel london and it's in 110 Dor dorchester rose and it is just this really pretty like pink tinted lip gloss you're not going to get much payoff with it it's mostly just a gloss or a lip topper so i love lip gloss my lip gloss be popping i don't know the, i don't know how that song goes i just remember like back in myspace i always saw girls with their lip gloss like this in their myspace you know how you used to like go like this your myspace photos and they'd be like my lip gloss be popping I hated those people. If I can find it, I actually made fun of them once and posted a picture that said my chapstick be popping because I am obsessed with chapstick, so I'm weird. Then the la- oh, hi, where'd my other one go? There you are. Then I got my first Ramil London uh, lip liner. I wanted a new uh, lip liner because I don't really have many nude lip liners and this is their exaggerate full color lip liner in the shade 32 innocent and it is this beautiful nude color it's kind of shaped weird but i actually like it because it makes a thicker line so it's easier to fill in um, i am wearing it right now and it is very creamy uh, but the top did break very easily i didn't even press on my lips and the top broke a little bit so that's my only complaint but um i don't know if this was on sale i think it was i'm not sure then I got from the Kate Moss collection, I have one of her old collection lip glosses, not lip glosses, lipsticks, but this is the new packaging. I love it. It's like this antique blush nude and it has her signature there. And I got it in the shade number 40. These do not have names, which kind of bugs me, but I don't care. It's a gorgeous nude color. I love this lipstick. This one does not smell like sunscreen it smells like cupcakes sweet cupcakes so there is that one absolutely obsessed with that color i wore it all day yesterday and this is what i am wearing on my lips right now this is the ramel london stay matte liquid lip color i have one of these and these are one of the best drugstore uh liquid matte lipsticks they are so comfortable they dry down 100 percent and they do not feel over drying. Uh, they're just so comfortable and they stay on your lips forever. I mean, these are perfect. And I got it in the shade Latte To Go. And it is this pretty nude shade. Uh, like I said, I am obsessed with nudes. So there's that one right there. And that is everything that I picked up from Walgreens. So let's get to shop Miss Hay. Okay, so this is a very random shop Miss Hay haul. Um, I got a little bit of everything and I got a few gifts as well. Uh, let's see, where's the other one of that? Ow, hair in my eye. Okay, the first two things I picked up, I picked up their iron-on patches and I love them. I use them on uh, a couple of my shirts. I have a certain shirt I wanna put one of these pairs on 
and I have to find like a hoodie to use the other ones, but they're from the brand Mint. So we got these two gigantic ones, this pink and gold crown and this gold glittery star. So they've got a bunch of sequins on them. I have a shirt. I don't know if I'm going to put this one on my sweatshirt or this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. But then we've got this one that says, yes! <laughs> it has a purple and pink diamond and a red heart. So a dollar for these and they're actually really, really good. Um, I love iron on patches. They remind me so much of when I was in middle school and high school and I used to do that all over my, my uh, purses and my bags. So love those. And I picked up two packs of these. It comes with 12, I believe. Yeah, 12. They're just your basic black large hair clips I'm using some in my hair right now. This pack is for Mama Blaze, my mother. So picked up two packs of those. Uh, then also for my mother, she really wanted this. It's from Kala. It's their Body Refresh Bamboo Pumice Stone and Nail Brush. So um, comes like this. It feels really nicely made. So yeah, use this in your shower to help with your feet, give yourself a little petty. I usually don't buy things from Shop Misse that I can find at Dollar Tree. And I did pick up a couple things that I could find at Dollar Tree on Shop Miss A, uh, including this. You can find I have a couple of them. But I'm excited to open this finally. It is the Kala uh, Makeup Pencil Sharpener. It is just your dual end makeup pencil sharpener. Uh, mine broke the uh, one for the larger one. So I'm excited to open that one. Uh, I'm really not going in any particular order. I'm just kind of just pulling out what's here. These two, one is for me, one is for my sister. I'm going to probably throw this one. No, I'm gonna keep this one next to me. So we both chose blue. It's just one of those little squishy things that look like alien eggs. Look at that. So it goes to this glittery gold. Ah, oh, I love it. So my sister desperately wanted one too. So I can't wait to give that to her because uh, she's been patiently waiting. Uh, no, let's get to that last. Um, oh yeah, okay, so. Hi, I did not want you to come out. Sorry guys. Uh, I was gonna pick up, uh, again, a uh, really nice big, cause as you can see, I have very long and very thick hair. Um, so I need really big uh, clips, claw clips to put my hair up. And I picked this one cause it's so pretty. And I was at Dollar Tree and I was gonna get that one. I'm like, my shop miss A order's coming. So let me wait for that. But this one's a little smaller than I wanted. So I hope it's gonna work. Again, the packaging like they did with the other ones. It's like, why, why do you even need this? But it is very pretty. It is bejeweled all out with rhinestones and it is black. So hopefully that will be able to stay in my hair and get everything in my hair. Then, uh, I don't know what brand this is, but these are a pack of 24 hair ties, mini hair ties that are like all different nude neutral shades. Uh, I've been loving to put my hair in braids when I come out of the shower or when I'm done washing my hair to get this effect. So uh, these are perfect for the braids that I put in. Uh, so that's why I picked those up. Then I picked this up. I haven't had one of the pick this up in like almost two years when they first launched these. Um, this is the AOA Studio Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes in green tea. And it comes with a pack of 15. Uh, and these work actually really well, but I don't think I've got... I don't think I like the way that smells, <laughs> but hopefully uh, I can just like not breathe when I'm taking off my makeup. Then I got this from my sister. My sister is obsessed with My Little Pony. She always has been. And I showed this to her and she said that this isn't My Little Pony. They are like bootleg My Little Ponies. And she wanted this one because it's a bootleg of her favorite called Rarity. Um, so it is just a keychain. It is really thick and like nice. Like it's not flat or anything. So this is that one right there so got this for my sister so she's very excited about that i've already opened this and used this i love using these for especially when i'm putting on my makeup or washing my face or whatever um or just these headbands it kind of feels very scratchy i don't know if you can tell but it's just this black one again something i can pick up at dollar tree but it's kind of knotted right there and you just put that in your hair for a style or for when you're doing your makeup or washing your face, whatever you're doing. 
then let's save that for last. Um, I know you hear my wind chimes and I will show that in a second. Um, I picked up another one of these. I have it in my organizer in a, on my nightstand because I use it constantly. I love it. I used to always use a flat foundation brush to put on my peel off masks and it, they would just get the, uh, the hairs would just get so hard and so stiff and it was like horrible to wash them. Um, but they came out with their own AOA studio makeup applicator and it's just a small handle right here and it's got this silicone applicator so easy to clean all you gotta do is wipe it off and it applies the perfect amount here let me get the one i have opened okay so this is the one i have opened it's the same exact thing and i love this i love this so much so i had to get another one and maybe when me and my mother do our little girl night spa treatments i can we can both put our masks on at the same time so that's a good idea from their body jewelry shop and I don't know why they put the sticker for their charm shop on here I got two of these like rainbow oil spill kind of design uh, navel rings that I use for my brow um, as you guys know I have it gauged to a navel size ring I think it's a 14 uh, I gauged it when I first got it because I didn't like having just a little tiny piercing I wanted it to be kind of like pow in your face so I got two of them so I can put that in my eyebrows because I've had this silver one with the little red jewels for like a little over a year so I just want a little something different. I guess I will show what jewelry items I got from the brand Melody. I've already worn these because they're very simple and very classy. I could have sworn I got one in silver too but maybe they were sold out. They are this, these gold dangly bars and they have some rhinestones going up them so these are very nice and classy if you just want something simple or you're going somewhere where you don't want to wear something big but as you guys know i love my obnoxiously large earrings i just i love them i like to have statement uh earrings so much can you come over here thank you so i got these in gunmetal because it was the only color left and i actually love gunmetal so these are these uh huge uh, they've got mustaches on them, but I don't really care and they've got some jewels hanging off and they're just these glittery silver like oval teardrop hoops. I love them so so much. I want to save that for last. Uh, then I got this and I'm probably going to put this on a silky, which is what I'm wearing on my pendant right now. By the way, I am not in a sat I'm not a Satanist and this is not a satanic cross, so don't come for me. Uh, oh, this comes with two little posts. I didn't even see that. It is this queen or princess crown that's bejeweled with rind clear rhinestones on a silver chain. Very, very nicely made. Then I got these earrings. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but they're pretty and very classy. These are silver ones with these dangly hoops that have rhinestones, clear rhinestones going all throughout it. Love that. Um, then I got this set, these two piece set of these really, really big uh, faux septum rings. I wanted a couple more septum rings. I love wearing these and uh, I have a history of when I got my septum pierced illegally when I was 16 and my mom will never forgive me for it. But uh, so I like to wear the faux ones and then What does that sound like to you guys? To me, it sounds like a very noisy wind chime, but they're not, they're earrings. <laughs> yes, I told you guys I love obnoxiously big earrings and these are just so much tood. Like, I feel like it's too much, like maybe I'll have to wear like one at a time, but it's got this like fringe thing going on. And then we've got some clear rhinestones and all these like jingly little, things here not little they are big uh i just think it's hilarious how noisy they are it's like you can hear me coming from a mile away don't wear those earrings if you're like running from a serial killer that is all the jewelry i got i guess we're going to end it on the makeup i got the first thing i got is the aoa studio perfect uh shadow primer i have the one in glow but this is just their uh original one so you can use this for any kind of eyeshadow look these are very nice they work well and they they feel so so soft when you blend it out. So these are great, especially for a dollar. 
Then I picked up another one of the concealers in porcelain. I'm wearing it right now. I love their concealers. The only bad thing I can say about them is they dry hella fast. Like as soon as you open the packaging, it's already drying. So you gotta work real fast with these, but otherwise they're really pretty, especially for a dollar. Then I got another one of the AOA Studio Go Brow Gels. I love this, but this one I got in medium brown. I have the dark brown right, right now, and I'm actually wearing that right now. Uh, these are amazing. Go and pick these up. Uh, I, I really, really enjoy them. Then I picked oh, more hair in my mouth. Then from the brand She, which is a new brand that are, they've been selling on there, I got this lip scrub in mint mint green so i have one of these from beauty treats that i've had for over a year and i still use them so they look like this oh wow that has like a mixture of like herbs like all natural herbs and a little bit of lemonade or something i bet there's some kind of lemon in here or something but that smells actually really good so i'll let you guys know how that ends up working okay this is going to be a little shady and this is why Shop Miss A will never sponsor me or make me an affiliate, even though I've given them my entire life savings. But I love their AOA Studio lip makeup removers and eye makeup removers. Um, so I got another pack of 30 of the lip ones. You can literally, it's the exact, they're both the exact same thing. So you can use the eyeshadow one on your lips and vice versa. There is literally no difference. Uh, basically, it's just baby oil on little pads. And I used to use baby oil to uh, clean my brushes and take my makeup off. It works amazingly. Uh, so these are awesome. Like I said, it comes with a pack of 30 for a dollar. Really, really good. Um, but you don't need so if like they're sold out of the lip ones and only have the eye ones and you're like i wanted the lip ones just buy the eye ones they are literally the exact same thing not even a different scent it's the exact same thing just a different sticker then the last three things i got was from the a2o labs and usually i wouldn't pick these up because it's kind of pricey for shop miss a i mean coastal sense it their hot pots are only a dollar 99 and they're actually always having sales including right now where all their hot pots are on sale for 99 cents. So I don't know, but they're two fifty dollars each. And I'm finally going to finish filling up my Z palette that I've had for over two years now. So in this Z palette, sorry for the ring leg layer, I will open it up. Uh, I wrote on the back what brands. I have the brand Bitsy. Um, I have the A2O Shop Miss A singles. Um, and the Coastal Scents Fall Festival palettes. So I just put that all in my Z palette, my leopard print Z palette. So this is probably gonna be like more of my warm neutral shade palette. And I'm gonna work on like a cool tones one next. So I got three, the only three they had left um, on their site at the moment. The one thing I hate about these, they don't have names. Everything else on their site, their lip products, their other, their baked eyeshadows, their highlighters, everything has a name. These just have a letter and a number. That just bothers me. But I got this one in L6. They're all like brown tones and brown shadows. So they come like this and it does say the letter and number on the back in case you want to repurchase. So this is a shimmery one like that. They are very, very soft. And very nice I have like I have the purple rain collection if you guys watched my other shop miss a hauls so you just pop that right in there so there is that one then we have m13 which is this dark dark like dark chocolate brown very very pretty so oh they're so buttery soft and they blend out beautifully. So we got that one, it's kind of a shitty swatch on my end. So we can pop that one right in there. So we got that one sitting right there. Please tell me I'm gonna have enough room for another one. The last one I got is M4, which is like a milk chocolate brown. So I've been digging the darker sultry kind of eye look lately so why am i why are these swatching so bad because these really are really good please tell me you fit 
That's what she said. Yes, it just fits. So I finally completed this Z palette with some AOA Studio shadows, some Coastal Sense shadows, and a couple of Bitsy ones. So yes, I finally have my Z palette completed. My life is complete, not really. I'm dying inside. So that is everything that I picked up from Shop Miss A and from Walgreens this time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give me a like and let me know uh, that you want more hauls. I think this one is number 28 or 29. When it comes to Shop Miss A, I will link a playlist to all my other Shop Miss A hauls if you are interested in watching them. And if you haven't yet, please make sure to go down, hit the subscribe button for more hauls and more awesome content. I know I've been doing mostly hauls lately and not many other videos. I am going to be doing a Q&A video coming up next. I know because I did a poll on my Facebook page, which you guys should join. It's The Blaze Nation, link down below. And, uh... Yeah, it was 50-50 whether this video coming out should be my haul or um, my Q&A video and they were 50-50 so I decided to do the haul first so I can use some of these products and open them and give uh, my mother and sister their gifts uh, but I will be doing a Q&A video so if you haven't asked a question that you are wondering to have me answer comment it down below in this video so I can add that to my collection of questions. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are. Again, don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. And until next time, my lovely, lovely ones, stay wicked. You can't wake up. This is not a dream. Your part is a machine. You are not a human being. We should